Stephen Glossop moved in with his 71-year-old mother, Linda, four years ago to take care of her. I help her uh, with her dressing. I help her, uh, you know, bathing and stuff, her showers and everything, and uh, I, I, meal preparations and, you know, cutting her food up and grocery shopping and uh, her medications and going to get her medications. While recovering from heart surgery, Linda had a stroke in the hospital, which now limits her mobility. She relies on Stephen for all her care. He's always there for me, you know, and like taking me to the doctor and everything like that. And, and he worries about me all the time. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have Steve to, to take care of me. Medicaid helps pay for their expenses, but Stephen noticed money being taken out for union dues. He was confused because he never signed up to join a union and never considered himself a government worker. I'm just a private employee taking care, uh, taking care of my mother, you know, is what I'm doing. He contacted the Service Employees International Union, asking to be released. And I thought sending that letter would stop it. It didn't. It, it, it's still going to happen. In four years, the SEIU has taken hundreds of dollars from the Glossops. Since 2006, it skimmed $32 million from caregivers across the state. The union has still not explained why it's dipping into a taxpayer-supported program for the disabled and keeping it for its own benefit. They're bargaining to, to who and for who. You know, I just don't understand. I just, I just don't think it's right that they're doing this. And that they can force unionization upon you. How has the SEIU and this union improved your care for this? They haven't helped me at all. I mean, they've done nothing for me. I mean, it's just uh, something naturally you're going to do. You're going to take care of your loved one. You're just going to do it. Stephen is no stranger to unions. In the early 80s, he was a teamster. I worked for a, a, a beverage company and uh, to negotiate there and because we had to nego negotiate like our insurance. We had to, all this. Yeah, they did do us good there, you know, the unions did. But this, he says, is different. I had no rights, I had no choice. You are you are a part of this union. It sounds really crazy to me because, I mean, he doesn't have anything to do with the union. It's just a farce to me. I just, I just, I don't, I don't see nothing in that union, to be honest with you, I just don't. <laughs>